Paris food distributor, a supermarket chain in Alsace-Lorraine, a Barcelona ice cream factory, a group of hypermarkets in eastern France, a Dublin snack manufacturer, a retail food chain in Paris. These are some of the elements in Beatrice International, one of the world's largest food companies. In 1987, Beatrice International Foods set a financial record as the largest international LBO to date. The buyer was TLC Group, an investment partnership headed by Reginald F. Lewis. Perfect. you? Lewis formed TLC in 1983. Within a year, Lewis spotted a singular investment opportunity. McCall Pattern Company, a 113-year-old business whose market was shrinking. An industry leader with less and less competition, McCall, a manufacturer of patterns for sewing, was right for a leveraged buyout. I'm Beverly Shook on Wall Street, and on this edition of Pinnacle, you'll meet this dealmaker extraordinaire, who despite his soft-spoken manner, has moved aggressively into the spotlight. The 45-year-old chairman of the TLC Group, Reginald Lewis. Today, he is successfully playing the takeover game, but played a very different game as a young boy growing up in Baltimore. Reg was a high school superstar athlete whose desire for higher education won out over professional sports. Lewis finished his education at Harvard Law School and began his career at a prestigious New York law firm. Within a few years, he was on his own, co-founder of the Lewis and Clarkson Law Firm, a firm specializing in venture capital. It would be his springboard into business. Lewis said his family's support was the key to his success, and he started working as a paper boy at nine. Lewis said that it was his family's influence that was his source of strength. They taught him to do his best, to have courage, to have compassion. They gave him faith, balance, and heart. I have always been motivated by a strong, keen desire for independence, uh, true independence, and a sense of achievement. And I think I owe that to my family. I owe it to a wife of 19 years, uh, who is probably the least materialistic person uh, that I know, and I'm indebted to her for that. Uh, my sister, was going out on a date, mm -hmm. and uh, her date said, I'll fix a blind date for your sister. So blind date na yun, I think we hit it off very fast. Okay, well. Talagang, uh, ka, ano ba, kachokran. Okay, so soulmates talaga. Soulmates, yes, in that sense, soulmates. But I had no idea I was going to get married. Ang talagang plano ko, hindi mag-asawa, ako really? ay magiging parang Helena Benitez. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. okay. Yes, the public service. Uh, okay. He was in a private law firm. Okay. Okay. So okay. hindi 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 siya business. Walang business sa. Okay. Walang business pa. Okay. At that time. Uh, at that oh. time. Kaya nung nag-usap kami, uh, you know, tamang tama. I mean, lahat non-stop. Ang naalala ko non-stop ang aming pag-usap on that first date. Mm -hmm. Little by little, I got to know him. Mm -hmm. I got to know that he is very masterful. And as we continued to date, I understood how his ambitions. Mm -hmm mas ambitious para guesta sa akin. When he bought TLC Beatrice International Holdings Inc., this was, you know, 64 companies in mm -hmm. 31 countries. Mm -hmm. We moved to Paris. The life of the rich and famous. Suddenly this was your life. Suddenly it was my life and I know that if I did not go back to my spirituality, to who I am, I will lose perspective. Mm -hmm. So I did. I joined the prayer group. And you know, I think that changed me. And because I got changed, he changed. We mm -hmm. fell in love with each other again in a mature way. What I found is that if you, if you have a core set of values, like family, uh, like hard work, like trust, then these are things that will stay with you even when uh, you may be having a difficult time in a specific problem. Maintain the core values, you can 
generally ride through any particular problem and then in the end we'll be able to, to be pleased with the result. A loving family man and an inspiration to people all over the world. When you hit bottom, when you are in your darkest night, there's no other person to face but your God. In my darkest night, there was God's light. You found His light. Uh -oh. Yung rat race sa America, mm -hmm. nakakalimutan ng Diyos. And I will have to say, I forgot. I didn't even go to Sunday Mass. Because of all the allure, nako, if I did not go back to God, I really would not know who am I. Okay, so, siguro yun ang ano, God's way of letting me come back to Him. Mm -hmm. Masakit. Sakit na sakit. Mm -hmm. But, it's God's will, and I have accepted it. Loida, well, how did you feel when you inherited the empire? Well, unang muna, okay. I had to make the decision to take over. Mm -hmm. And since my brother-in-law was running it, mm -hmm. initially, he was the one appointed by my husband, so I didn't want to. But then, nakikita ko, tumatabingi. You know, okay. our, our mm -hmm. earnings were starting to go down. Mm -hmm. And then our expenses remained very, very high. Mm -hmm. You know? So if you don't, if you continue that trend, bankarota, you'll mm -hmm. be bankrupt. We hired a, uh, a headhunter. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko, tika muna, I interviewed this and this and this. E baka mamaya, hindi din marunong. Mm -hmm. Baka mamaya, they'll fail. Mm -hmm. You know? So sabi ko, mabuti ako na lang. So on the day of the board of directors meeting, after prayer, very clear na sa mind ko, I'll take over. It took mm -hmm. me one year to decide. To decide, mm -hmm. but once I decided, that was it. That's the right decision. But I must tell you, my first board meeting, siempre daunting. That's mm -hmm. the first time I'm holding a board meeting with all of these men mm -hmm. and one daughter. Basically, you know, I have faith. You know, kaya kito, but hindi sa alam ko lahat. Okay, so I ask a lot of questions. Some people may think it was dumb questions. It's not dumb. Hindi ko alam eh. I ask, I listened. When you took over? When I took over, only what my husband always says, increase the value of the company. When I took over, it was like 22 million loss. Eh, alam mo, you don't look behind eh. Okay. Always look forward. Okay. okay, so first year, 1 million net profit. Oh. Second year, 9 million third profit. Third year, 40 million net mm. profit. Fourth year, I had to sell the company. I had to liquidate. Dahil sa, sa France, there was an obligation that was getting bigger every year. Mm -hmm. So I sold our supermarket in France. Mm -hmm. 450 supermarket from pre and leader price. Yes. It was a painful for you. It was a painful decision because I knew it was the start of the liquidation and that was my husband's company. But actually what was he was going to do before he died, he was preparing to sell the entire company. He had already shared these plans with you. Yeah, he always talks about it. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing that I did well, I listened well. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko nga, eloquent listening. You listen eloquently. Ibig sabihin, you're active. Yes. You, yes. you absorb it. And mm -hmm. so I remembered he saying that. Mm -hmm. So you sold? I then... sold everything. I sold the potato chips in Ireland. I sold the ice cream company in Italy, in Germany, in France, in Denmark, in Canary Islands, and in Spain. And I sold the supermarket business. Yun ang una kong pin well, that was the biggest one that I mm -hmm. sold. Mm -hmm. And then finally, the battling company in Belgium and distributed the proceeds to the shareholders. And they were happy. They were happy. And now, I, I set aside a small amount to invest in a business that I would want, which is still the food industry. Okay. Okay? My family here has always been saying, Loida, invest in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So I invested in Sorsogon, where I grew up which was the Lewis College. Mm -hmm. I invested in a small hotel with the Duran family, the Fernandez Hotel. Mm -hmm. Then we built up a 34-stall mall. Sa Sorsogon Mall na yun. So you started <laughs> in your hometown. Yeah, in my okay. hometown. Mm -hmm. So all in Bicol. Mm -hmm. So those are the things that I've, uh, I've been doing.